I've been getting quite a few comments lately about uh, busyness and simplicity, those opposites, um, and which is better. Uh, maybe it's because, because everyone's paring things down because of COVID and the things are getting more simple. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but there's been about five or six uh, emails and comments I've gotten around this subject. Which is it? So I remember I figured this out uh, a while ago was when I was studying art. And I remember I had all these teachers and, you know, it was so crazy because I would, I, I had this amazing head drawing class and learning how to draw this head. And, you know, he would critique uh, things and he was always talking about how powerful this particular picture was, you know, the simplicity of this, the bold marks on the paper and that black and white. And, you know, you could really see it. And so you leave that class going, yeah, God, you know, like that one kid's uh, drawings were so powerful. They were so monumental. That was the word he used, you know, just simple and strong. But then I had another class and I had this uh, design, uh, color design class. And this guy's work was really ornate and uh, had many little pieces of color, sort of vibration of color. And that's what he was in. So he would, he would pull out of all of our work and critique everyone's work. And he was always showcasing work that was kind of more complex. And, and that was the word that he used, you know, it's like, com it was, it was complex. It was richer. Right. And, and then, you know, so that you kind of have that in your head. Um, and then I had a, another uh, teacher that was, it was a children's book illustrator and um, she was amazing. And she loved uh, some of the pictures I remember still, we all kind of did like mock-ups to kind of pretend children's book. And, and, you know, the spreads that she highlighted, um, this one was this whole jungle one, this jungle book, and it was so ornate and it had so many things going on. It was just like a whole world. And it, she just kept going on and on about this. So I left that feeling like, wow, you know, I'm getting all this different information and trying to sort it out was always really confusing. And then I've got to make, I didn't even, you know, so it's like, is it bold? Is it simple? Is it complicated? But here's the thing. Uh, I wasn't getting feedback from the one person that mattered, <laughs> and that was me. Um, anyway, this is Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life, and I'm talking today about uh, preferences and specifically making pictures that are complicated uh, or making art that's complicated or simple and, and preferences. And actually, all that matters is, if the, is, is what you prefer. There isn't a right answer. All those instructors that I had, all those people, um, they, were, they were just saying their preferences. And I was taking it to heart, thinking that that was actually true. It's true for them. And you could kind of see it. But without my input, I was just torn all over the place. So the answer to, to these five or six emails that, that I've gotten is neither. <laughs> neither is better it's only better if, it, if you love it. If you love complexity, which is cool, like having an amazing stuff, like lots of stuff, like a Persian carpet complexity, go for it and do it even more than it's ever been seen. But if you love simplicity and Zen brush marks or whatever it is, do that. But all that matters, the one thing that has to be in it is you. You have to love it. You got to be into that and, and letting us feel that. And then we'll leave uh, your classroom feeling like, wow, that's, that's the way I want my world to be, right? We, we're artists and we make things, we create parts of worlds. And when somebody buys it or is attracted to it, they're basically saying, I just want to be in that. I just want to take some of that home. But they're not just taking your work, they're choosing all over. We're sampling all the time. So it's not just one answer. That was a big lesson for me and it was really clarifying. So I don't know if that's helpful. Um, what I love is that the answer is not out there somewhere. There's no one person, it's not coming from me, it's coming from you. And I love those kind of answers because those are attainable and they're available and they're here already. You've got it, you had it yesterday, you have it today, you have it tomorrow. It comes inside of you, it's your preferences. Anyway, um, I would love to hear your feedback on this. Uh, 
it's it's so cool when you reflect back on how when that moment was when you, the penny dropped. So I'd love to hear some stories about that um, around these ideas of preferences and complexity and simplicity. Um, for those of you who are new here, we have an amazing uh, Arts Life Facebook group, a lot of really cool work, complicated work, simple work, sculptures, textiles, photography, everything. is <laughs> Everything and anything, uh, we'd love to have you be part of that. Again, thanks for being here. Okay. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please, Join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great, let's do this.